This is you. Limitless potential. Reset. I'm kidding. Hold on. Give me a second. Reset. Relaxation. Unknown surrender. Finish line. Success. Victory. Oh, oh my word. I love this. Aquarius, here's your sign. I'm getting a little emotional for you right now. Aquarius, come on in here. A welcome to your reading. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross watchers. Welcome. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. I am Tiffany, your friendly neighborhood, intuitive, empathic tarot reader. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. Welcome. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and turning on notification. Aquarius, I meditate and I pulled a single oracle. This is from the Shaman's Dream Oracle to get the overall energy overall theme for your reading today Aquarius and we have empty well time to replenish this is a time to assess what is going on in your life there is nothing here uh it's time to replenish you have been diminishing yourself for others getting small for others and so this is this is to tell you spirit wants to guide you away from this place of lack away from this place of um emptiness if you will the if you will the empty well you have been depleted there has not been reciprocity the give and take the give and receive has not been uh in harmony in your life so divine spirit is is showing you is here to confirm it is time to move on aquarius so let's pull uh to get your overall energy I read with in um I read intuitively, so please test, take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. All right, the moon. We have Pisces showing up in your reading, um, Aquarius. So with the moon, there is the illusion that someone around you is here to be of help to you, trying to uh you know give you the pep talk to pull yourself up by your bootstraps or here, let me help you dig yourself out of the hole. And that's, it's not true. So it feels like you are under, uh, I don't want to say under a spell. It's not that you're under the illusion that this person or persons are actually here to help. And they are a part of the reciprocity problem. There's not been give and take on their part. Feels like they've been taking more than they've been giving, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling. And um, you need to trust your intuition more. I feel like for some of you, you felt the, the weirdness, if you will, with this person. You felt the uh, fogginess around this person. You felt uncomfortable around this person, but you're... You're denying your intuition. Um, so you need to trust your intuition. And for what is likely causing conflict or creating restrictions in your life, you have cancer showing up in your reading with the chariot card. Okay, Aquarius, you have... It, you're struggling with your own willpower. You're struggling to realize, admit, and accept that this person is a taker with that moon energy, that illusion that you're under. They're disguising themselves as a wolf in sheep's clothing. And so with this chariot card coming up for your area of resistance, you are resisting your own willpower to move away from and cut ties from this person because they are taking 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 and your well is has been depleted right give me one more card spirit for the final outcome for aquarius if you will please this reading is timeless whenever you receive this message it is meant for you at this point in time you've been guided to this message one more please divine spirit for our beautiful aquarius one more uh-huh i saw that all right final outcome temperance is what we have coming up in your final outcome okay all right so with that there will be harmony for you there will be balance there your will your well will be replenished you will you will know the path to 
a new oasis, a spring of life water. It's life, right? So with the moon coming up in your current energy, Aquarius, again, this is this is an illusion you've been under. You, you there's a veil over your eyes, and there is the resistance of what is right in front of you. Okay, okay, because with this three of swords popping up, hmm, you have emotional pain surrounding someone in particular. Uh, Aquarius, someone in particular has caused you a lot of, excuse me, heartache and sorrow, right? And emotional pain. Empress is popping up. Okay. Page of Wands. All right. I'm going to get the rest of these so we can dive more deeply into your reading. Okay, Aquarius. I'm not going to turn these just yet. So, the Three of Swords, the Empress, and the Page of Wands. In your current energy, this moon energy, Pisces again showing up, right? So, the Three of Swords alongside the Empress. Okay. Aquarius, this is this is troubling, right? The emotional pain surrounding someone for some of you, for someone receiving this message, they have I feel like this is a mother wound. I feel like this is a mother wound, Aquarius, for someone out there. This is a mother wound that has caused you emotional pain, stress and heartache that has to be dealt with and it's really really heavy. It's really heavy. This person has disguised their their fear, their own fears, projecting their own fears, disguised this as concern for you, Aquarius. And a disguised uh, fear as concern is never healthy. And it has caused you a lot of heartache and pain. And again, I feel like this is a mother womb. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like this will resonate with someone. I'm speaking to you directly. There's a mother womb that is causing you angst. And then we have the page of wands showing up for you, Aquarius, right? So with this page of wands, it feels like you have been hesitant about moving away from this mother figure, whether it is your biological stepmother, a grandmother, um, an older sibling that has been a part of raising you, or a um, adoptive mother. It feels like with this page of wands, Aquarius, this is really, this is really heavy. You have been hesitant about moving on from this person uh, believing that the situation can change. And I want you to know the only way the situation can change is if you change it. You have to change it because I feel like this person, this mother figure in your life, auntie, uh, whomever, who has been a part of raising you up or guiding you and so-called, you know, keeping you on the right track. I feel like they've been keeping their thumb on your neck, keeping, and I don't like it. I don't like this feeling. So, the only way this is going to change, because they are not going to change, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling. You have to make the change. And then you have the chariot coming up in the area of resistance. You are resisting the change. You are resisting the fact that you have to change it. You don't want to fracture that relationship. But what I want you to understand, Aquarius, the relationship has been fractured for so, such a long time. And that has not been your doing. That fracture has left you emotionally depleted, emotionally drained under an illusion that everything is all right. Everything's going to be all right. And you are being depleted of your life force. Your well has gone 
empty Aquarius and it's time to move on it is time to cut ties you can love people from afar when they when they deplete your energy when they deplete the very life out of you and drain you you feel drained once you leave their presence you feel drained before you even get into their presence because your your emotional traumas triggered by the fact that you have to see them to begin with and you just you just become fatigued and you get a headache and you you know you try to push through it you're resisting the fact that you control this you control what happens in your life you cannot control what someone else has done to you but you control how you react or you respond right and you don't even have to react or respond you just move on you just move on so in this area of resistance you have uh, Eight of Pentacles, Justice, and the Eight of Wands. It's going to take crap and move it. The Eight of Wands showing up with the Chariot card. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. Let me tell you something. The universe is giving you this sign here. Take action now. This is movement. Both of these cards are moving swiftly. This is swift movement. This is in your, co in your control to swiftly take action, right? And then the Eight of Pentacles, Diligence and Determination, to take action with this eight of wands because when you do you will bring harmony and balance back into your own life no one's coming to save you you have to save yourself aquarius no one is going to replenish your well you have to do that yourself aquarius this is important for you to hear it's important for you to hear it's harsh to hear that you're going to have to cut someone off right it's harsh to hear that you're going to have to love someone from afar. You don't owe this person anything. You don't owe them anything, Aquarius. Don't let don't let them try to guilt you into oh, why you're not speaking to me and why you want this and why you don't. Please don't. I encourage you. I encourage you. I'm encouraging you because the final outcome is temperance. The final outcome is trusting yourself, trusting your higher self, trusting that your life will come into balance and into harmony, balance, harmony, truth, right? When you take the steps forward to bring your life into balance, to replenish your well, to get well, to be well and whole, to bring that life force back, to refill, rejuvenate, replenish your well, right, from the inside out. So with this final outcomes, we have four of wands, judgment, and the eight of cups. This is this eight of cups is telling me it's time to move on from this person who has been very judgmental, as a matter of fact, but that's not only what I'm getting. It's your awakening. You're waking, you're coming into the revelation. This message was meant for you to hear, Aquarius. You are coming and you have you are receiving this revelation from divine spirit for a reason. It's not happenstance. It is divine connection that you are getting this message. You are awakening to the fact that it is time to move on. You no longer want to participate in this vampiric energy relationship the reciprocity has not been there you have been giving 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 way more than you've been receiving with this person and so it's you're awakening to the fact that yeah it's happening here's my sign spirit is guiding me to move on because when you do not only do you bring your life into balance with this temperance card and things come into harmony with this temperance card there is the celebration of life you have a celebration of life your well has been replenished your well has been replenished and now it's time to celebrate Aquarius you understand it's time to celebrate you've made the achievement and now now you can rest in that new life force that you've created for yourself by replenishing the well, right? All right, let's get a few more tarot to clarify what you have been given here in this reading from Divine Spirit. Three more cards for our, our uh, beautiful, lovely Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, cross watchers are welcome. That is three. That is wow. That is three more cards. Interesting. And I see the moon on the bottom of this deck. 
It's time to come out of the illusion that this person truly cares for you. What I feel with this person, this mother wound, is they care more what they can get from you than they actually care for you, Aquarius. I am sorry. This is heartbreaking and hard to share with you, but I'm going to give you what I feel. I'm going to give you what is coming to me intuitively. And it's these, these emotions are wow. It's wow. So we have the chariot here again coming out for you. Then we have the magician and the six of cups with this six of cups. This is definitely somebody who's been in your life for a long time. This mother wound, this emotional heartache, this emotional sorrow and pain has come from someone who has been a part of you. And that's why I felt like they have, they have something to do with raising you from a young age into your adulthood now. And, I, and it does not matter what your age is now. You can be early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even 60s. It's time to understand this person has caused you enough pain. They are someone from your past, deep in your past. That is still current in your life. But with this chariot, you have two chariots in your reading Aquarius, right? So with this, the universe, quote, I said what I said, end quote, right? Chariot coming up twice for you. So you must be determined because you will have victory in your determination, in your hard work. There will be victory for you. Your life will come back into balance and harmony, Aquarius. So you have, you have everything you need. With this magician card, you have everything you need on the inside to make the change that is required to come out of the shadow of someone who has not meant well for you for quite some time, come out of the control and the illusion from someone who has been taking from you and has only been concerned with what they can get from you for the longest time. And you have such a beautiful heart that it's clouded your vision Aquarius I hate to say that but here's your wake-up call here's your wake-up call Aquarius divine spirit is letting you know no more you do not you do not stay there your well is empty you're wondering why you feel fatigued you wonder why you feel like you cannot give another drop because there are no more drops to give you have no more f's to give Aquarius so still so stay, stay in that energy no more f's to give right because it's time to deal with you it's time to work on you it's time to wake up it's time to move on and love from a distance right and it's time to do it now swiftly take action now right all right let's get an angel number for Aquarius before we close out this tarot reading a single angel number for Aquarius of my spirit single 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 please thank you <laughs> single number single angel number Aquarius what is your angel number mm -hmm. okay there it is zero 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 Aquarius wow wow Aquarius oh 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 my word I love this Aquarius here's your sign I'm getting a little emotional for you right now zero 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 Aquarius Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is you. Limitless potential. Reset. I'm kidding. Hold on. Give me a second. Reset. Relaxation. Unknown surrender. Finish line. Success. Victory. Success. And victory. Success and victory for you Aquarius oh this is so beautiful I'm so excited for you Aquarius this truly got me emotional it serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished if you can dream it there is no reason you can't make it a reality if something is in the possession of another person it is also available to you so try to remain calm What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension. Relax. Let go of tension. Relax. This four of wands is also a card of rest. Let go. 
Let go of this relationship that has not served you well for quite some time. Let go of the heartache. Let go of the the uh, disillusion. Let go of the untruths, the lies that have been fed to you, of the fears that have been given to you, disguised as concern. Let go of all of it because you are limitless. Even looking at this card, it looks like it's going on forever. You are limitless. Aquarius, limitless potential when you decide that it's time for you to do you. Reset. Reset. Replenish your well. Okay? Success and victory are yours. Success and victory are yours. Aquarius, this has been beautiful. I've never gotten that emotional. And I haven't gotten that emotional in quite a long time. Your reading is... It's definitely one for the books. I appreciate you watching this. Thank you so much. I hope it has resonated with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Take care of yourself, Aquarius. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.